Yesterday, I asked you what movie quote always drives you to tears. Here are your quotes that I'm quoting for the quotest quote. I won't laugh once. I'm not gonna break once. If I break, the video will laugh. <laughs> not today. John Wick? What are you, a candle maker? The candle maker. Absolutely terrible. This is dad humor. And son, I'm ashamed. What a beautiful day to stay Bo Burnham inside. It's a year old now, isn't that crazy? Time's uncaring hand waves on. Not an answer, but I loved this guy. I'm so excited that Jack's doing this again. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> Worst movie. Agreed. That movie and quote sucked. What is this, Morbius? <laughs> Last I checked, it was at a whopping, what, 15% on Rotten Tomatoes? That could change. Holy fuck, it's hot. It's like there's 500 days of summer. What, like, balled up into one? Uh, that would be a great expression to say. Miles, you're onto something. With or without your permission, I'm stealing this. This is my new icebreaker. At a party or picnic or barbecue. Woo! Damn, feels like 500 days of summer. <laughs> And then when you hear crickets, you just say it again, but louder. I said 500. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only Star Wars episode four, A New Hope. Oh, there it is. Oh God, that's good. How cool is it that even back then she knew it was episode four of a nine part saga. Wow, chill out. Why are you so angry, birds? Movie. Wait, now I'm angry. You don't hear a lot of discourse about the Angry Birds duology, do you? You don't. Absolutely not. And I didn't realize there was enough buzz for the first one. When the movie came out, it was already too late. Like, we stopped playing that app probably five years before the movie came out. Be like if they made a Flappy Bird movie. You know what I mean? Like, what? No, it's, it's come and gone. You know, you really showed me how to be an Austin Powers, the spy who shagged me. Oh, behave. This quote actually works because there's two of them. This is the one I remember the least of the three. I remember going gaga for Goldmember. Loved, I liked Goldmember a little too much as an edgy high school teenager. I genuinely thought that Austin Powers Gold Member was like the pinnacle of comedy. I had a very low bar, I guess. But man, that opening, that opening in Gold Member is really good. No, it is. You got Tom Cruise, Danny DeVito, uh, Kevin Spacey. Still good. <laughs> Whoa, now that's one fast <laughs> baby driver. Okay, question. Do they ever say the phrase baby driver in the movie Baby Driver? I saw that movie exactly one times in a movie theater. And it was fine, it was good. I just don't, you know, remember a lot of it. But thank you for the submission, the Sam Rockwell hamster from G-Force. I would argue that G-Force has more staying power than the Angry Birds duology, which speaks volumes. No one ever saw the movie G-Force, but like we know it as a meme and acknowledge it as such. Oh, Luke. Oh, Leia. Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. Oh, Leia. <laughs> oh. Oh no, no. You gave the title a terrible double entendre. 10 points to you. 10 points to Slytherin. <laughs> Go to hell. Oh, airplane. That works. Oh, airplane too. <laughs> Markiplier! I know him from YouTube. This video is not sponsored, but I do want to give a shout out to Markiplier's new interactive series, In Space with Markiplier. It's a choose your own adventure on YouTube where you're the captain of a spaceship stuck in a wormhole, and it's up to you to save Markiplier and the rest of the crew. I'm so proud of this community. I streamed it the other night on Twitch, letting chat make all the choices. It was genuinely fun. We spent almost 90 minutes on just one possible path. There are so many choices we didn't take, and there's even a part two coming soon. The whole story is very unpredictable. Just when you think it's ending, it keeps going. So go check out In Space with Markiplier by clicking the link in the description below. Spoiler alert, I got got very hard with the fake out choice. All right, it's poll time. Let me whip up a new poll here. That's vote, right, time to vote. Vote, vote. Oh, apparently it's fake. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> You got me, Markiplier and YouTube. You got me good. I probably shouldn't be drinking anymore. I guess this is really the last Naruto the movie, huh? <laughs> Burrito Uzumaki. <laughs> what name is that? I have yet to see a single Naruto episode or movie or spinoff. I know there's a spinoff show, but I've heard good things. I just don't have the time. That's another one of those anime series that has like, what, hundreds and hundreds of episodes. It's not like One Piece big, but it's, you know, it's up there. Gulp. I don't have time for all those Naruto's. Naruto's. Both of them. I don't have time for either. <laughs> you really are a st <laughs> You really are a stand-up citizen, Kane. Surprisingly good movie. If you've never seen Citizen Kane, it ain't bad!
I watched it once in film class and never again, but I remember thinking, hey, for a time period where they hadn't invented colors yet, this ain't bad. It gave us clapping Shia LaBeouf. It did. I love being a cars. Vroom, vroom. Lightning McQueen. I think he says that though. That's a signature catchphrase, right? Sorry, just think about the Cars trilogy and its impact on pop culture. Merch, it, was just, it just existed for the merch, right? Like that was it? Yeah. Okay. Oh no, my dad has been dadnapped. 2019, a Disney Channel original film. No, it's not. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Opening up Disney Plus. About to find out if dadnapped is real. Oh no. And it's not 2019, it's 2009. Let's read a synopsis of dadnapped. Mystery comedy. I doubt it's either. Melissa Morris is due for adventure when her novelist father goes missing. <laughs> Sounds like I'm about to be dadnapped. Finally, an hour, 25 minutes. Feature length only has to be 40. Why did they go so hard? You know what, let me tell you what I'd rather watch. What's trending right now? I'd rather watch Cheaper by the Dozen, the new one, than Dad Napped. Yeah, that's how low on the totem pole Dad Napped is. Thank you, Broders. My, my day's a little worse knowing that film called Dad Napped does exist. I have never seen anything more to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, what a beautiful, deplorable setup to get me to say Despicable Me Too. Oh my God. Take these roses and get out. I don't have gold roses, but they're from my uh, free to play upcoming game, Be Funny Now. That's a really good answer. Don't you think, Chip? Oh, she's dead, about time. Looks like this marriage story is over. Oh, Adam Durver. Is that the movie with Kylo Ren and Black Widow? Get it, because that's how children think. Do you think, Ab I didn't see this movie because it just, it looks really depressing, but do you think Adam Driver uh, says this while looking into the camera and like closing a book? I'll demonstrate. I have a book, sort of. Looks like this marriage story is over. Tell me he does that. Do you think in the second marriage story, he just keeps beating that wall to a pulp? I'd rather watch that than dad napped. <laughs> I always get a little teary eyed when Paul sees the giant sandworm and asks, hey, what you doing here? Me too, Ethan. Me too. I just think it's weird that half a movie was nominated for Best Picture, since it's clearly like, you know, part one of a two-parter. Like, it was all right, but Best Picture? I don't know. I did cry though when, when he said that at the sandworm. You threw off my The Emperor's New Groove, you old fuck. <laughs> this is the Disney Plus Plus version. You have to pay double for that, but it is worth it. You can watch Dad Nabbed 2 and 3. Yo, this house might be Encanto. <laughs> Encanto from Encanto? I didn't see it. Encanto was another movie that Aaron fell asleep during. And frankly, I think we should end cancel her for doing that. <laughs> I thought Encanto was fine, just very, very, very light on plot. Spoilers, here's the entire plot of Encanto. House breaks, they fix house. Somehow they crammed a whole musical into that, but that's pretty much the whole story. There's not really a bad guy. The plot is simply, uh-oh, house broke, let's fix it. <laughs> It's very light. I know, I know, generational trauma, yeah. Mm, but it's really just house broke fix house. But yeah, just banger tunes. Hot damn, Asuka. I guess this truly is the end of Evangelion as we know it. Fun idea, watch this one with your parents. I mean, it's a cartoon, right? And cartoons are for kids. Um, <sighs> Jesus. You can, lead a <laughs> you can lead a Terminator 2 Judgment Day, but you can't make it drink. <laughs> Just got it. Terminator 2. That's terrible. Oh, that's so bad. How many of you kids even know the phrase, lead a horse to water? The council labeled this epic pun, and they're right. They're absolutely right. Do you know that there's only two Terminator movies? This one and the one before it? And I applaud the team on um, deciding not to make any more sequels after two. They could have. They really could have like poured this out and just offloaded a ton of shitty sequels, but they didn't, and I respect their integrity. I loved it when Chris said to Johnny, you're a jackass forever. It made me piss my chance. <laughs> I have a confession to make. I saw Jackass Forever in theaters for some reason. I don't know why. I thought it was just okay. Am I like growing out of the humor? I don't understand it. I wanted to go in and relive the glory days of Jackass 1 and 2. But after the 18th shot of someone's member, I felt like all of the jackassery just kind of washed over me. I don't know. Can anyone else relate? Or am I alone on this opinion island? Oh no, my sister. She's frozen. Anna to Elsa and frozen after she became frozen. I wonder what the next one is. Oh no, now you're frozen too. Elsa to Anna when she froze and frozen too. Uh, 
This is a very Jim looking into the camera comment and stifling your laughter. Frozen 2 is yet another movie that I try to watch with Aaron. And I think three minutes into the movie, she said, I'm not really into this. And we never touched it again. So I don't know what happens in Frozen 2. I'm sure they get into some fun, magical, mischievous fun, but you really gotta hook Aaron like in those, those first, those opening five minutes. You gotta hook her in, otherwise she's out. She wasn't hooked, I guess. Did you put your name into Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? Dumbledore has Compley. Damn it, that's awesome. Fun bit of trivia. It's not trivia at all. Aaron hates the second Dumbledore. I love the second Dumbledore. The first Dumbledore in the first two Harry Potter movies put me to sleep. Give me that second Albus any day of the week. But Aaron will go to her deathbed defending the first Dumbledore actor, and I will not. She hates this line. Frankly, I think he did a great job with this line. Don't worry, little guy. Guy, I'm home alone too. <laughs> Why'd you have to use the Trump picture? I hate you. Terrible. And yet, so fitting. <laughs> OMG, you're such a Gemini, man. Oh, uh, no, no. Uh, another movie I didn't see, but I have to assume this quote's in there. Infuriating. Such a Gemini. Oh, hi, you must be the hot and horny stepmother six. Damn it, now I have to look this one up. Hot and horny stepmother six. This is what incognito tab is for. Oh, damn it, I don't think it's real. Damn it. Oh, wait a minute, there is something called horny stepmom six. Close enough, I'll take it. When Jessica Chastain asked James McAvoy, are you writing chapter three of your book? And James McAvoy said, no, it chapter two. Damn it. I genuinely didn't know where that was going until the final three words. <laughs> it chapter two. Like a caveman who forgot how to speak. It chapter one was uh, genuinely one of the most uh, frightening experiences of my life. I never want to go through anything like that ever again. I stayed home for it chapter two. Bella from the Twilight Saga New Moon. Where the hell you been, Loka? <laughs> I forgot that was a quote. It was Sharp Boy, wasn't it? It was Twilight that really popularized the entire um, split the final book into two movies trend, wasn't it? A trend that kind of like killed the Hunger Games hype and just really killed Divergent as a series. Remember Divergent? Never heard of it. <laughs> Remember when there were supposed to be four Divergent movies, but the third one did so poorly, they just said, fuck it, and never made the fourth? To be fair, I'm not sure I even made it past the second book. Damn. So. Damn. Yeah. I guess Tenet really, I guess Tenet really is, uh, I mean, I guess the real Tenet was, uh, I mean, the real, the Tenet was, uh, yeah, what is Tenet? I watched that movie, was confused by every second of it. Oh, it's so unmemorable. Did they explain what a Tenet was? Are we the, te is the Tenet in here? What's a Tenet? Watching that movie was just the most infuriating experience. In the end, it wasn't really about the journey. It was about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre we made along the way. Did not know where that sentence was going. There's another movie that they only made one of and they never made any sequels or spinoffs of. I feel like they maybe could like make some more money out of that. It's interesting. They only ever made the, the first movie in the 70s and then nothing else. Really makes you think. Really makes you feel like a che Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh-oh. I woke up in the middle of the night because I had a nightmare on Elm Street. Johnny Depp before he's eaten by his bed. Just a wholesome thing for someone to say out loud. No, Hammy. We can't go under the hedge. We have to go over the hedge. <laughs> Utterly genius. This is a movie that I haven't seen a lick of, but I've heard the entire soundtrack because it was made by Ben Folds. I'm Ray. Ray who? Rays of Skywalker. Ugh, God. I didn't see episode nine, but I absolutely read like a hundred plot summaries and I really stand by my choice. What are you guys doing? We're trying to saving Private Ryan. <laughs> I remember the scene. Oh, I cried like a bitch when they said this in the movie. Oh man. <sighs> the only sensible way to live in this world is without Shrek the third. What's the quote, what's this? Is it rules? It's from the dark Knight. Wow, I'm a fake fan if I didn't recognize that. But I'm telling you guys, I stand by it. You can ignore the third Shrek movie and still enjoy the whole Shrek saga and not miss anything. What does the S stand for? On my planet, it means hope. And that, oh, that's a V for vendetta. I was confused in this scene, but I got it. Frankly, my dear, I don't give the damn. <laughs> wow, is this on Disney Plus too? Right next to Dad Napped? Wow, Elastigirl. You sure are The Incredibles plus The Incredibles 2 <laughs> back in box. <laughs> Remember DVD box sets? God, what a time. A simpler time, a better time. <laughs> Babe, I'm turning red. Uh, this is what I say in bed every time. <laughs> it's like code. 
I'm turning red. Uh, Shrek? Shrek and Shrek. Nine and a half minutes. No kidding, really. I didn't know they said the title of that movie in the movie. That's pretty cool. Guess it's worth another rewatch. Jeez, man, all this drumming is giving me whiplash. <clears throat> You're telling me he doesn't say that? I've seen the meme scenes, but not the whole movie. And he doesn't say whiplash? Fuck out of here. There are two things I love most. <laughs> Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Willy Wonka. Is this the very end where he's like, my dear boy, you just won the prize. Oh, brings a tear to my old heart. Yeah, brings a tear to my heart. Wow, 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 wow. The council just labeled this as Willy No. What are you doing, stepbrothers? <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. Best one yet. I haven't laughed at a good stepsis joke in uh, so long. God damn. The fact that only 24 people like this when it should be 2.4 billion is criminal. Thank you for reigniting the, the magic of cinema in today's episode. I don't have a question for you. Leave your answers in the comments below. I'll pick my favorites in the next episode of Yai. Please subscribe if you're trying to Saving Private Ryan. Also, click up here to see the previous episode. Uh, here's a clip to share a really cool and obscure Easter egg from a movie that not a lot of people know about. In Finding Nemo and Finding Dory, Ellen DeGeneres plays the forgetful fish Dory. This is a nod to the fact that we should all forget Ellen.